Hello everyone, welcome to this new virtual demo about Joltes. Today we're going to use the material handle division. This demo is going to be very short, around 7 or 9 minutes. The main idea is to provide you an, a general overview about some function of Joltes. As you can see here, we have a different equipment. We have the forklift, we have lift platform, and also telehandler. If we go inside, we can find 56 different makes. We have a good coverage here. We have Clark, Crown, Hister, Hyundai, Colmar, Kubota, Manitou, Toyota, and many others. So for this demo, we can we can use the Hister, for example, and we have the family and the model here. So if we go to the H series. The H80 is very popular. We can use this one, and we have all the possible system, and we can go. To the first one, for example, body computer. So if we go to the connector info, we can find the information related to this connection. And Joltes is guiding us, providing the information about how, where exactly is, is the connector, how it look like, pin out information, and also the correct part number that we need for this connection. But what happens if you don't have the, the right connector? Okay, you don't have. You can use the multipins because Jaltes has the information for this kind of connection. So we have a plan B too. So we can connect to the system and this is the main menu. We have a different option. For example, we have the diagnosis here. So we can come here and we can find the state of the code, the proprietary full code, the description of the code. And also we have the freeze frame data and the help and component of the error. This is a very, very important section because we have technical information related to the focal. So if we go here, we can find the information about the component, the location, and the connector's info. And also we have the wire diagrams, and this is very good info here, because with this information, the technician can know how exactly is connected the component with the ECU. So you have the component on the right and the ECU in the middle. And as you can see, we can find all the information related to the ECU. And now we can go to the next one. We have the error clearance. Yeah, we have the system data. Here we have the ECU data, the vehicle reconfiguration. And also we have the insurance parameters. As you can see here, we have uh, different parameters that we can display and also modify. So this is a very important function in Jaltas. And also we have the data recorder and we have the system technical data here. So if it doesn't matter if you don't have a fo an active focal, so you can come here and check the info and the wire, di wire diagrams too. So this is very, very important. And we can disconnect here. And now we can connect to the other system and this is simple. Now we can connect and we can go to the engine with particular filter for this demo. We can use this one. And as you can see, I can do this because Joltes is a diagnostic dealer level tool for all make and systems. So it doesn't matter which system I want to connect, I can do it with Joltes. So now we have basically the same. As you can see, we have the same layout. So the learning curve is very short with Joltes. We have diagnosis, we have error clearance, we have system technical data. We have insurance too. If we go there, we have different option. We have a system display that is a very important information because with this information, if the technician doesn't have too much experience with this kind of system, they can have a better understanding about what is happening with this in the system, what is going on and going into every component. And for Jolt, it is very important the user experience. And we strongly believe that this kind of information will improve this the user experience. And also, if we go to the measurement selection, we have a different measurement here. We have 73 and different groups. So we can select the groups. We can select three measurements. And we have a different representation. We have the gauges here. And if you see this question mark, you can go to obtain more information related to this Insurancement and also we have the other representation is the graphic and we have some function here we can zoom in and also zoom out and we can stop 
and we can select different options like if I want to see only two so I can do it maybe one and also we can do a screenshot we can print the screenshot or we can include it in the diagnostic report that I can show you later. This is a very good option in Yaltes. And also you can add a comment. So this comment is going to be in the diagnostic report too. And if we go to the next one, so we have also the actuate components. So here we can activate or disactivate components. And also we have system check. We have parameters, we have meanings. If we go to the system check, for example, we have the cylinder cutout test. So this is very, very good. We can go there. We have the same layout for all the function and all the tests inside Jaltest. So as you can see, we have first step, initial condition, initial information, sorry. Second step, initial condition. And the third one, you do the test now. So with this, we can turn on or, or turn on the, the, the cylinder and we can have the graphics and also we have the same function that I'll show you before. And now if we end the test now, we can have the results and also this result is going to be in the diagnostic report. So this is very, very good and it's all in JALTES. So JALTES is not just diagnostic because we have technical information and also we have technical support. What happens if you have some dubs or you need more information? So we have a different option because we can do remote system and also we are reachable by phone and by email. So you can select the better way for you. And also here we can find the maintenance information and the data recorder. This is very good function because we you can record the data while you are doing a test, a road test, and then you can analyze. And also here, as you can see, we have the system technical data, like I showed you before, and we have the troubleshooting by symptoms. This is a really good guide here. It's a step-by-step -step guide, so you can come here and check all the troubleshooting related to the symptoms. So you can go here, you can find a step-by-step -step guide. So this is very good information inside Yaltas. So now, what is the next one? Is the diagnostic report. So if we want to see, we can click here and we have all the results in this report and all the action that we did before. And we can print or we can save. If we save this diagnostic report, we can see it and in the grp the grp is the last but the least option in Yaltes because one is free the second is a data management so you will find here a lot of fun function for management we can make a client list we can make a profile for every client we can make a vehicle list too we can check all the diagnostic reports that we did before like i said you and also we have the work management so we can assign tasks we can check all the act the activities uh, of our our technician and also we have a role reception and also we have a human resource this is a very important option inside grp because we can make different users and now they can have a different access level depend of the role in the company so this is very 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 good for you and also if you have dubs or you want more information you can go to our distributors and also we have the web page the fan page in facebook and we have a youtube channel with a lot of videos so you can go there and you will find more info so this is all for today Thank you for your attention. See you soon.